Hello and welcome to the long-awaited apartment tour. As you'll already know if you watched yesterday's video, I just moved to university. I'm going into my second year at Leeds Arts University. For the first year, I just commuted on the train and it was a hell because the trains here suck and were just like always delayed or cancelled and so this year I was definitely gonna move here. So I have now moved into my own studio apartment. It is technically student accommodation, like it's within a student accommodation building, but I chose a studio room instead of a shared flat so I don't have roommates or anything and I have my own kitchen and living room and all that kind of stuff so I hope you enjoyed the tour and here we go. So starting off this is the entrance way when you first walk in so I've got this like I don't think this is a rug I'm pretty sure this is like a table runner but I'm using it as a rug because I don't care. On the door I've just got a few little like cards and just like things stuck on there just because I don't know it's kind of boring. We're not really allowed to like stick things on the walls but for one thing the last people who lived here have stuck like loads of little like pegs to the walls that they then clearly tried to like rip off but then they didn't actually come off they just kind of like broke so now I've just got a bunch of random little useless sticky broken hooks all over the walls so at this point I mean the walls are already ruined I don't really care if I ruin them a little bit more. Over on this wall because basically I've got these these like door things that I assume are like for maintenance situations so I basically just look really ugly and so I wanted to cover them and so I thought I was an absolute genius when I thought of this idea because since like I was saying you're not really allowed to stick things on the walls and so instead of just like blue tacking a bunch of photos all over the walls that were gonna leave like loads of marks I instead got a fairy like curtain that I can just hang up with two little sticky things and then just used pegs to clip photos all over it so this way I can still have all the photos up except it only leaves two marks instead of like a million and plus it looks so cute because wait look turn the lights on and you get the full effect look how cute that looks and then over here on the opposite side of that wall I've got some jackets and bags and stuff like that hung up over here and then over here on the one single peg that the last people left that has not snapped yet I've just got my Snoopy shopping bag when I go food shopping and my keys so don't forget them every time I leave and now it's the kitchen which is like my favorite part of my flat and like living alone is like cooking my own meals and everything so so first of all over in that corner we have got the bin which it doesn't sound very exciting but i've got pink rose scented bin liners so my whole like thing with decorating my flat was that i wanted to love every single thing that i own like i wanted every single thing to be like a cool version of that thing so like can't just get regular bin liners gotta get pink rose scented bin liners can't just have boring washing up supplies i've got pink washing up supplies never actually used to like pink it just kind of like started off ironically as a joke and now it's like not a joke anymore anyway up on the wall here we have got this like metal mustard poster which i got from an antique furniture shop literally like a year ago and i have been waiting ever since to be able to put it in my flat i don't know why i just love it next to the sink i've got my beautiful gold and bamboo drying rack and then it's got some boring kitchen roll. I don't have any interesting kitchen roll. I don't know if that exists. If it does, then let me know and I will go buy it. And then back here, I've just got this little yellow tin, which has just got some like written down recipes in it. Normally I just use like online recipes, but I also think having like an actual paper recipe is like so wholesome. I don't know. So the food that I had anyway, then I keep in here and I kind of want to like keep adding to it whenever I find new ones. I don't know. And then on here, we've got my beautiful mint green stand mixer. Realistically, no student needs a stand mixer. Don't waste your money on this. You will barely ever use it, but I love it. And to be fair, this was only from Aldi for literally like 20 or 30 quid. So you don't need one, but if you want one, then go to Aldi. And then on here, we have got one of my favorite things in my whole flat. And it is my sheep shaped cutting board. Why would anyone want a rectangular cutting board when you can have this? This is from Donnell Mill, if anyone is crazy like me and want this. And if you want to know where anything else from my flat is from, then let me know in the comments and I will try to reply to as many as I can. And then over here, obviously, you got the hob, which on there I just keep my oven gloves, which are these beautiful Emma Bridgewater spotty oven gloves that I stole from my mother. And then on here, we have got my little kettle station which if you know me you know this is a very important place in my apartment because tea is what fuels me in fact i've got a little postcard here on the wall that says you cannot drink too much tea it is not possible those are the words i live by and so on here obviously got my kettle and my toaster i've got these beautiful green and gold kettle and toaster that my grandma bought me and then next to that we have got my tea tin which i got this from tk maxx they have so many cute little tea tin designs there so i would definitely recommend i just got this little alice in wonderland one it's so cute got a random little sausage to put used tea bags in I've got my sugar and chocolate powder shakers and then lined up at the back here I've got some coffee syrups which I got from the range and I was so excited about these because I love coffee syrups and just like I don't know picking what flavor coffee I'm gonna have that day but I tried the vanilla one the other day and it tasted really gross like it just tastes like pure chemicals so to be fair these were from last Christmas so like they're probably just gone off they do not taste the best so definitely need to go find some actual good quality coffee syrups so let me know if you know any brands that sell 
actual nice ones. But anyways, then up in the cupboards we have got like hot chocolate powders and mugs and glasses and Tupperware and all that kind of boring stuff in there. And then in the other one we've just got plates and bottles and food. Over in this cupboard we've got my cleaning supplies which doesn't sound exciting but it excites me greatly. I've got unicorn dust scented disinfectants like if that doesn't make you want to be an adult I don't know what does. And this drawer is just more food. All of the drawers are just boring stuff. I need to get a like cutlery organizer for this top drawer though because all my cutlery is literally just like randomly sprawled in there and I keep almost like stabbing myself with a knife every time I have to like get a spoon or something, so. Might need to do another trip to Ikea, which I'm not complaining about. Obviously got the oven, which is actually a combination microwave oven. So it's like a microwave and an oven and a grill. And like, a, I don't know how the science works behind it, but took me a while to figure out how to use it, but I've got it sorted now and it is kind of the best thing ever. I don't know why everyone doesn't have one of these. And then obviously just got the fridge, which is not very exciting. It's very messy in there, so I might just not show you that. Oh, but I will show you that in the top little icebox freezer thing, I've got my ice cube tray that is obviously star shaped because would you expect anything less from me? And then across from my kitchen, we have got my full length mirror, which I just hung some like little star bunting around to make it cute. And then over here I've got a couple postcards that I bought a million years ago and forgot about. And then in here I've of course got my bathroom. So on the door I've got my towel dressing gown and my hair towel and my bare onesie. And then obviously you've got toilet, sink, shower, all things that you would expect. I've got a beautiful, huge, like a full wall size mirror with LED lights around it, which is like my favorite thing in the world because it is literally like perfect lighting to do my makeup in. And also a side note, the mirrors here, I swear to God, are literally the most HD, like 4K mirrors that I've ever seen in my life. Didn't know it's possible to see myself this crisply. It's great. Ah, there's a bonus, I've even got mirrors on at my bathroom cabinet. And then obviously inside of there, I've just got all the boring things that you would expect in a bathroom cabinet. I've also got some bath towels on the hooks up here and then my hand towel down on the rack by the sink. And then across my little sink countertop, area we've got obviously my soap dispenser and toothbrush holder which I bought from Urban Outfitters if anyone is wondering I bought those that's like one of the first things I bought for my flat and I was like so excited about it and then I've also got a bar soap as well just so that you know all my many guests have options this body lotion which I got from Sainsbury's literally just picked like the cheapest one this is literally the best smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life it smells exactly like drumstick squashies 10 out of 10 would recommend and then this face wash and just all of my like makeup and hair stuff and <laughs> just gotta linger on this for a second I got a new makeup bag which looks like Sully from Monsters Inc. Which, if you know me, you know that Pixar is my entire heart. So, it's from Makeup Revolution, if anyone is as much of a psycho Pixar fan as I am. And then over here in the middle of the flat, we have got my little dining room table. I'm kind of debating on moving some stuff around because I would kind of like for this table to be by the window because I think that'd be cute to like be able to eat by the window. But I tried that and then that whole corner it was just like very cluttered and then this was just like one big open space and then I said it was too big to put over here so I don't know I might try it move some stuff around at some point but anyway so on here we've got my little pink napkin dispenser and then I've got this cute little milk bottle that I just fill with like juice or whatever if I want to make it look aesthetically pleasing which I've just got that on this little coaster which was actually gifted to me by a girl called Liv who owns a little small Etsy business so I will link it down in the description it's called Sweet Things I'm pretty sure so she sent me a little set of four coasters and you'll see them dotted around my room and I love them so much. So if you're watching then thank you very much Liv. And then I've got my little cat shaped salt and pepper shakers that I got from a charity shop months ago and I've been so excited to use these. And then also from a charity shop it literally goes for like 20p. It's this little cute heart shaped tin that just has a little candle in it. So cute. Then over here we've got my desk so I've just got my computer on here which I literally only use for playing sims that's literally like the only reason that i have this worth it in my opinion and then i've obviously got my laptop which is what i do my actual work on and my ipad i've managed to lose my apple pencil in the process of moving which sucks and then in the back of my desk we've got this massive pin board which is so cute but they don't actually give you the pins to be able to pin anything to it so i need to go buy some and then i will decorate this other than that on my desk we've got a little pot of gum I've got my pencil tin which is just an old golden syrup tin and then i've also got a pencil case when i go back to uni and then i just got airpods little phone stand which is from ikea literally it was only like three pounds or something and it is the most useful thing in the world would recommend and then i have got my academic planner which is actually gifted to me by ruby granger so thank you very much ruby if you're watching this i literally use it every single day and i don't know how i live without one of these so go pick one up if you haven't already and then on the shelves up here i've just got some dvds and then in this one we have got all of my packing supplies which is for all of my jewelry which if you are new and you don't know i have a little small jewelry business over on depop which is going to be relaunching literally in the next like week so go follow me over there if you want to buy anything because there is a lot of new stuff coming very soon and now onto the actual bedroom part of my flat so obviously you got the bed which is just a small double bed which under here there is just a ton of storage so i've just got like beads and like literally the most random things under there and then up on the little bedside table 
shelf kind of situation we've got just a ton of books and tissues and crystals and this little water bottle kind of thing that i got from urban outfitters and it is literally the most aesthetically pleasing water bottle i've ever seen and then on the wall i've got a postcard and a billy eilish poster of course and then next to the bed is obviously my wardrobe so on one side i've got shelves and then on the other i've got obviously hangers and then just down by the side of here i've got all the boring stuff that i try to keep hidden away like brooms and mops and all that kind of stuff and then down here i've got my laundry basket which is from urban outfitters i'm still yet to do laundry here because i am scared because i don't know how to use the machines but you can watch me struggling to use that in the next video because a little plug i am starting a little like living alone diaries like vlog series on my channel starting with the next video so subscribe if you haven't already if you want to stick around for uni vlogs and many vlogs of me just struggling to live alone coming very soon and then last but not least obviously my favorite part of my flat which is this little window corner the lighting is terrible here so sorry about that but i just love this little corner so much it lets in so much light and i'm very lucky with getting a corner room because in all the other flats and you only get one of these windows and i got two extra from living on the corner so very happy about that over here is just this little pillow that i just wrapped some star fairy lights around which looks so cute at night because it like reflects on all the windows it looks so cool okay i'm just gonna finish the vlog like this because the lighting was stressing me out but over here next to my desk i've got my record player with just a bunch of records down there and then all my plants all lined up over here and then i also got my little mini sofa that i've just covered with a fluffy blanket and some cushions and then i've got my tv which i actually use so much more than i thought i was going to because one thing is so much bigger than i thought it was going to be and also it can play youtube so i literally watch everything on here now and then of course got my little coffee table so it's got a few little coffee table books i've got this little film magazine the billy eilish book and this youtube book and then just a little candle holder that has got a little led candle next we're not allowed real candles the remote for the tv obviously and then another one of those beautiful coasters and that is everything perfect timing because my camera is literally about to run out of charge okay sorry that the lighting still sucks but i need to finish this outro as soon as possible because i've literally got about five seconds left of battery left on my camera i hope you enjoyed this room tour again subscribe if you want to stick around for the uni vlogs and just vlogs of me learning to learn thank you for watching be sure to watch the moving vlog if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one